Alright, so good morning. We are in Little Corn Island. We had an early morning flight from Managua and then we took an hour boat ride from uh, Big Corn to the Little Corn. Um, we just arrived and were completely drenched. The ride was very rough. Um, it was a little scary because I was like, they fit at least like close to 100 people into a small boat. Water was coming in from the back. We sat in the back, which was probably the worst idea, we could, the worst I possible idea. But um, we made it here alive. I got some footage um, of the just what it was like. Anyways, we're here now in Little Corn. We're staying at a hotel, hotel called Sunshine Hotel, which is beautiful. We just like it was like a two-minute walk from the pier, uh, and then we're gonna go exploring in Little Corn Island. So I'm really excited. We only have two nights here before we fly back to Canada. So we are walking to this beach called Auto Beach, which is on the north side of the island. Um, our hotel is in the south side. And so from our hotel to the Auto Beach, apparently it's like the most beautiful beach on the island. Um, it's about like maybe 20, 25 minute walk. So you can pretty much walk around the, uh, all of the Little Corn Island. There's no uh, uh, automobiles or motor vehicles allowed on the island. You can only get around by foot or uh, by bicycle. And the locals here are so friendly. Um, it's so quiet here, very relaxing. So the lizard, there's one right there. Hello lizard. It's chilling like a villa. This place is underdeveloped, which is my favorite kind of place. Don't you say so, Carla? I like it. <laughs> and I think we're close to the beach. I can hear the waves a little bit. Ready to oh, I think we are. <laughs> yeah, I think we are close actually. There's a beach bar and stuff, so. It's kind of windy, so it might be a bit hard to hear. So we are now, we are now in the Caribbean side, or we are in the Caribbean side, which means we see the Caribbean waters, which is white sand and crystal clear water. So just look at this, beautiful. We're done with the beach, we're heading back to the south near the town center which is where our, ho our hotel is. We're gonna grab some lobster. We've heard that there's four dollar lobsters here. So we're definitely gonna go there. Pretty much end the day off with a beautiful sunset. Looks like it's not gonna rain. There's some scattered clouds but the sun's still out. Um, what's cool about the town center is that it's facing the west side so we'll definitely see a perfect sunset tonight and I will capture that on um, on film. The water, um, the water was beautiful. Uh, too kind of too bad though when I think it's still like raining season and so like some um, like dead seaweed and some plastic unfortunately like wash up into the shore. So it makes the beach look a little bit dirty, but I'm sure like once it's cleaned up, like it's gonna be pristine, clean beach um, along the coast here. But the sand is so soft. Like when you stand in, uh, when you walk on the sand, like your feet pretty much like sink right in. So it's just so soft. The water is beautiful, good temperature. It's like 
swimming in the bathtub. Go ahead, hello. Hola. Hello. We found a perfect spot here. Um, has like part of the palm tree, and then I'm pretty much looking straight at the sunset. Uh, you can probably see that's big corn right over there on the other side. Um, so big corn is more of like the developed island, whereas little corn is like the underdeveloped one, smaller. I think it's like half the size of big big corn. All right, so did a sunset time lapse, and now we gotta go grab some dinner. We are going to a restaurant called Rosa's, which is kind of like outside of um, the town, the middle, I guess the downtown or town center of uh, Little Corn. Um, apparently, the food at Rosa's and, and around Rosa's restaurant is cheaper compared to like the beachfront, so that's why we're heading there right now. Oh, this curry is different. It is day two here in Little Corn. Today is our last full day here in Nicaragua before we fly out tomorrow morning or tomorrow night. Tried vlogging on the Insuenos beach and it was so windy like my mic wasn't picking up anything. And so basically we were just at Insuenos beach. It was about a 20 minute walk from our hotel. It's still in the north side of the island near um, near Auto Beach and we booked a snorkeling tour to go around Little Corn. We paid each twenty US dollars to go snorkeling for a few hours. Um, so we're gonna be swimming with like some stingrays, some bat rays I think is what they're called and then some like nurse sharks as well which is gonna be awesome. But the uh, the Insinu Insinu's beach um, it's actually more of a quiet beach. It's actually prettier, I think, personally, than Auto Beach. Because um, there was just less, like, dead seaweed washed up in the shore, less garbage as well. Um, and it had that, like, Caribbean look of the palm trees on the shoreline and white sand beach and uh, blue waters and everything. So. I recommend going to Insanio's beach and spend a few hours there, go swimming and things like that. So it was very a picturesque place. So for the snorkeling tour, I'm going to be vlogging on the GoPro Hero 5. So it is our last day here in Corn Island. So much for our last few hours here before we catch the 130 boat to go um, back into Big Corn Island to catch our flight to go back to Managua. Um, we can't miss this 130 boat or else we are pretty much screwed. So we'll try our best not to miss our flight or our boat and our flight. I'm gonna miss this island, this little Corn Island. <laughs> Um, it's such a special place. The locals here are so friendly, genuine, and just very helpful. Like whenever you walk by them, they always say hello, like are you having a good day? Like I'm gonna miss this island. It was just so peaceful here. So that's pretty much the end of the vlog. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Lisa underscore Sambun. Hit the like button, uh, hit the subscribe button to follow on the adventure, and um, see you in the next video. And 
come to Nicaragua. I guarantee you'll love it.